Hi everybody. This is Bethany from Count Your Stitches joining, um, joining you tonight. And we're gonna do a little bit of a Friday night craft. Um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a live crafting tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna give everybody a chance to get on. I'm also gonna adjust my, um, my view here a little so you can see a little bit better. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, so we got everything here. Um, uh, give me a quick second. I'm gonna share this on my personal page so we can share the crafting love. Usually we share the crochet love. Today we're gonna share the crafting love. So let's see here, let's get this shared. How's everybody doing tonight? I, thought, I hope everyone had a nice week, um, not too warm. All right, here we go. Let us share this. It's warm tonight, please excuse my sunburn. Um, looks real nice, right? <laughs> All right, let's see here, we're gonna share this. All right, share now. Here we go. All right, hey everybody. Say hey when you're hopping on, comment below um, so I can see who's here. Tell me what you're doing, what are you up to tonight? Um, so that we can interact, have fun. All right, so say hey when you're hopping on. I'm gonna pay attention to the comments here. Um, make sure my, everything's quiet here so we're all set. But yeah, say hey when you're hopping on so that we can interact and have some fun. Um, I'll pay attention to the comments on my computer here. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna get going. So what we're gonna do tonight um, and I hope everybody can see, okay, I'm actually wondering if I shut this off, if it'll be better. I don't know. Um, it's bright for me, so hold on, let's see. That might be better. Let's try this. All right, so um, tonight we are going to, I'm trying to get myself in the screen here, take these little signs, um, these little metal wooden signs that I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, they were on the clearance, so they were super inexpensive. I mean, I think we're talking like a dollar or something each. Um, so they're these cute little signs. They already have a jute hanger for you. Um, we, I have two of them. Um, one says, great things take time to grow. One says, always choose joy. Um, so they're really cute and, you know, great for spring, but we're going to make them into a fall craft. Um, I love the tin. Um, so I thought that would be really cute. And I had been seeing a lot of people use these. And these are some little pumpkin cutouts that are from the dollar store, if you can believe it. Um, I actually found them hidden behind the turkey and the owl cutouts. And I was really excited when I saw um, that they had the pumpkins too. So, um, so I grabbed these, they come with five and it's actually a create your own ornament kit if anybody's interested. So it comes with a little bit of um, twine to tie your own ornament. And then they all have a hole in the top. Um, we're actually gonna put a little bit of ribbon over that tonight so you won't see the hole. Um, but it comes with a set of five. I got a couple of packages just because they're so much fun. Um, again, um, hi everybody. If this is your first time hopping on, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing a fall craft um, live here tonight. Comment, um, hey, and tell us where you're coming from and what you're doing tonight um, when, you, when you get here and then share the love as well. Make sure you comment, like, and share below. Um, so again, this comes with a pack of five and it's, um, they make five little pumpkin ornaments. And again, they had turkeys and they had leaves. No, they might've had leaves. Um, and they also had owls. So really cute stuff to work with. So tonight, what I thought we would do is just, um, make these a little bit more fall, uh, keep the tin, make this part a little bit more fall, and then just throw a pumpkin right on top, but decorate the pumpkin with something fun. Um, so, all right, let's start with something, I'm actually gonna do this for the first time. I see it done all the time on other um, lives and things. Hi, Geraldine, how are you? Thank you so much for commenting. Hi, this is so exciting. Um, again, comment um, and say hi when you're popping on. Um, so we're gonna use Mod Podge, and I see it used all the time, um, but I have never actually used it. It looks easy enough. So I get my Mod Podge at, oh, well, I get my Mod Podge as, as if I use it all the time. Um, I got this Mod Podge for the first time. Um, hi! <laughs> um, at, again, dollar store. So um, you can get bigger containers of it at other places. Um, but since it's my first time, I was like, let me just get a couple of these, you know, a buck a piece. No, um, no big commitment with that, right? Um, and we'll give it a whirl. So we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna prepare this. So what I wanna do is I have a sanding block here that I got from, I think either Walmart or Harbor Freight. Um, and we're just gonna kinda, it's a little bit rough. Um, and I just wanna kinda sand it off here. Um, you know, sorry, pretty flowers, but you're gonna go away. Um, I usually have like a nice white thing down here, but I didn't, it, it was kind of dirty and I didn't want to go cut another piece. So we've got paper towel, we figured that's good enough. 
Um, so we're gonna just kind of sand it down so that's a little bit, yeah, so now it's nice and smooth. It was kind of, um, some of this was raised before. Oh, my hands are a mess now. Um, but anyway, so we're just gonna kind of sand this down. So um, again, when you're watching, you're popping on, say hello. Um, what are you guys doing on this Friday night? I'm crafting, thanks for joining me with my crafting. I'm just gonna wipe that down a little. All right, so now we're um, smoother. Let's do it with the other one. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I wanted to do a fall craft tonight and I figured why not um, buy by the gallon so easy, right? Absolutely. Um, once I, I think get, once I get confident in how to use it, I think I'll probably be better. Um, but, oh, my mom and dad are watching. Hi. Um, I think I'll be, once I, once I hopefully confidently and successfully use it here, I'm sure I'll kind of get the bug and I'll want to get more of it. So I've seen really big containers of it at, um, Walmart, but if you have any other, um, places that you suggest getting it from, if it's cheaper or better value, just let me know. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a, a quick fall craft. I saw these, these little tin spring signs at Hobby Lobby on clearance last week. My mom and I went and picked up some things. Um, and I was like, Oh, I want to make this into a craft and it's a quick one. So I, I was like, you know what? Let me try my hand at this live craft tutorial. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Um, all right. So we've got these bad boys sanded down. I'm going to put my um, sanding block out of the way. All right, so now what we're going to do, I have some scrapbook paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. I got a ton. Um, so scrap, so um, uh, they had a ton. Uh, Hobby Lobby has this aisle of scrapbook paper that was like a dream come true. Um, so I got a ton. They were four for a dollar, and I think they go on sale four for a dollar a lot. So if you want scrapbook paper, I suggest that um, that is a place. Um, so I got all sorts um, for fall, and then I got some for, they have really cute stuff for Christmas too. Um, actually, let me show you. I got this really, really nice one for Christmas. I love um, the truck or the car, so I got this one here, which I think is adorable. Um, and they have, you know, like Christmas plaid. Um, and then I also found like some music, and those of you who know me love music, and, and I love when you make music notes into something that's artful. So I thought that was really cool. I have that, there's black notes and red notes. So anyway, so we have two that I picked out for tonight. So I'm gonna put all this beautifulness aside. And we're gonna put that over there. Ugh. All right, so um, I realized earlier, norm, what I was going to do was just flip this and then trace and cut out. But because these little ridges are here, I really can't trace it upside down. So I'm gonna do my best. Um, I'm gonna use this kind of like distressed polka dot which I thought was really cute. Um, and then this fall paisley to do this one, to do the second one. So what I'm just going to do is kind of try to mark um, where I need to cut out and just do my best essentially, since I can't really flip and trace. Um, so let's give this a whirl. So what is everybody up to tonight? Is everybody saying, hey, when they're hopping on, comment in the comment section. Um, and then share this video so that we can spread the crafting love. All right, so I'm just gonna um, line this up and just make some marks and then I'll just do my best to cut. Um, I think that'll be my best, my best bet. It'll be good enough, you know? Oh, so it is, um, yeah, it's Friday night, you know? A lot of people are, you know, a lot of people do a lot more, I guess, fun things on a Friday night, but this is my idea of fun. <laughs> Um, but I enjoy it. And today, um, today was a nice relaxing day for my mom and I. We spent it by the pool, um, and hung out and such. It was very fun. Um, which is why I'm sunburned. <laughs> um, but so you can see it'll fit just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace this one, um, and then cut this one out of here. So the back of these say that they were 69 cents. Um, but again, they were on sale for, for a dollar. And if I'm not mistaken, they go on sale for, for a dollar often. Um, and they have the 12 by 12 sheets and they also have the eight and a half by 11 sheets. So if you're a scrapbooker, oh, <laughs> hi, my dad, I think it's my mom watching. So hi mom, <laughs> commenting as my dad. Um, so depending on, um, what size you need, if you're a scrapbooker, obviously they have both sizes that, um, of whatever you would need. And if you're just using it for crafts, they have, um, both sizes as well. So, and they have different patterns in the different sizes. So sometimes, like I got a couple of each size because they had some patterns in one size that they didn't have in the other. So, all right, I'm gonna set that aside. We're done with the scrapbook paper. I'm actually gonna real quick set it aside totally because there's something underneath it that I'm gonna need. 
Oh, all right, I'm ready to come back. All right, so now let's get to Mod Podging. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, I'm so glad you love this. Awesome, hopefully it comes out good, right? All right, so let's give this a try. We can put the pencil away. I think we're all set with it for now. Um, I'm trying to like manage everything. You, I'm glad you can't see the whole desk um, because it's a mess, um, but we're gonna give it a whirl anyway. All right, so I'm gonna grab a Gen Foam brush, which is this kind of brush here. It's a skinny one. Um, it's already got paint and it's already ripped and stuff, so I figure I'm gonna use it for the Mod Podge since it's a type of glue, um, and then I can just toss it if I want to, or I always keep a little mason jar that I, with some water in it, and that's what I put my brushes in as I use them, because um, we're gonna use different paints and things. Um, so, all right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Mod Podge. Does it have a thing? No, okay. We're gonna take a little bit of the Mod Podge, put it down, I use paper plates. Um, usually I just use those really skinny um, styrofoam plates from Walmart or whatever, um, but I'm using a little bit bigger of a one tonight because we're gonna do different colors um, for our pumpkins. I'm very excited. So we're going to do a little bit of Mod Podge on our plate and then um, I'm going to take my Gen Foam brush and kind of liberally, actually I'm going to need more Mod Podge than I just squirted out. Again, this is my first time using Mod Podge. Um, I'm very excited. It smells funky. Oh, sorry, again, first time. Um, so I'm going to generously apply this to my square here. All right. Gonna get this going. Oh, da, da, da. So yeah, I'm so excited that everybody's here. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, again, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches and we're doing a, a fall craft together. I'm gonna put a little bit more. We wanna make sure that our scrapbook paper sticks. Um, we are repurposing. I just realized I got a whole bunch of Mod Podge on this tin, um, but it does dry clear if I'm not mistaken. So we're doing a fall craft tonight. So let's do, um, we're gonna do this little distressed polka dot first. And we're just going to stick it on there. Alrighty. Make sure it's all lined up. We can sand off anything that might be hanging over. Um, you know, not where it needs to be. I'm just kind of scooching it around a little bit because I was a little bit off with my laying. Um, but yeah, later on, we can just take that sanding block and just kind of sand these edges off a little bit. Um, once it has dried, it seems like it dries rather quickly because I can't even move this around anymore. <laughs> um, but so there's one, all right? We've got one scrapbook down. I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna let these dry um, as we move on to our pumpkins in a few. So we're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna move on to our second one um, with the fall paisley. So again, we're gonna grab some Mod Podge, apply it kind of liberally here Make sure there's plenty. Um, the Gen Foam brush works nice for this, I think. Uh, I also, I'm always afraid of ruining, not that I have like nice art brushes, they're from Walmart and such, um, but I think it's cool. So, um, but I think they're nice. So I don't wanna ruin them with this kind of, you know, glue, if you will. Um, so, you know, a Gen Foam brush, you can get them in packs at the dollar store for cheap. You can pretty much, you know, you can get them at a lot of kind of general type stores for um, inexpensive. So. Yeah, I figure it's okay if these if these get a little paste on them and then we have to replace them. All right. Uh, I see that we have a few more people watching, so don't forget to say hey when you're hopping on uh, so we know who's who's joining us. All right, so we got that one done. We're just going to stick the paisley right on. And... All right, we're going to scooch that around. All right, so we're just going to lay that flat. Get out any of the kind of imperfections. Pick up a little bit of the glue that came out the sides. And again, like I have a little bit of an edge, tiny bit of an edge here, um, but we can just sand that away later. So there's our paisley. All right, I really like this one. I, oh, Shugs, you know, I had a purpose with choosing this paper and I wanted to choose a specific piece in the paper because I want to do the pumpkin a certain color. Yeah, we're just gonna live with it. <laughs> doesn't always turn out the way you wanted. That's okay, I think it'll be fine. Um, but the reason I chose this one is because I wanted, I didn't wanna do just um, like brown orangey pumpkins. I wanted to do more of a, like a grayish colored pumpkin. And so this fall paisley, I don't know if you can quite see it, but it has some gray notes in it. So I thought it would be cool to do um, 
more of a gray toned pumpkin with this a little bit something different with um, some oranges and some greens and things so I thought this fall paisley was a nice way to do that um, so don't forget to comment below when you're hopping on uh, share this so we can spread the crafting love share this video on your page I'm so excited that you guys are here so while we let our trays dry we're gonna move on to these adorable little pumpkins I'm gonna stick my gen foam brush into my mason jar um yeah i think gray will still work too <laughs> um i think there's some gray in the piece that i picked out from that there was this really in the paper the whole big 12 by 12 of the the paisley there were some really nice pieces because this pumpkin is going to cover a lot of the tin um so i wanted to be able to kind of see the gray pieces in the corners but it'll work i i agree Geraldine. it'll still work um all right so we're going to move on to our pumpkin so i'm going to open these bad boys up throw this away. I put my trash barrel right here. I tried to like totally prepare. Um, I am sweating because I didn't want to put the fan on too high because um, I was afraid you wouldn't be able to hear me. So forgive me for sweating and for my sunburn and all these things. So we're going to need two pumpkins. They are so stinking cute. Look at these little things. Ah, and they're thin. Um, so this isn't going to be heavy. And again, um, these come with some little kind of ornament hangers already. So you are welcome, you know, if you wanna, they come in a pack of five for a dollar from the dollar store. And again, you can get them with um, a turkey or an owl and possibly a leaf, I don't remember. Um, and they are all in the fall section. So Dollar Tree has a fantastic craft corner now, it's called, um, but in their holiday section where they, they change it out, um, they have crafts for that holiday as well. So in the fall section is where I found these. So you can make yourself some little ornaments sometime too. So we've got plenty left over to do that another time. And hey, if this goes over well, maybe we'll do more craft tutorials because this is super fun. Um, yeah, all right. And I can't be as like nitpicky as when I do these things on my own where it takes me forever. This is just like, let's do this and get going. All right, so for the first pumpkin that's gonna go on the distressed polka dots, which are orange and brown and burgundy. We're gonna do a little thing I saw um, with a baby wipe or with like a, you know, a, a wet wipe or whatever um, in terms of how we apply this. So a lot of people like to use stains um, on their wood, obviously, but I don't have any, I don't have any gel stain or any type of wood stain. Um, so I am going to make paint look like a stain and then we're going to do a little bit of a kind of a dry brush ish effect on top to get some orange going so i've just got some brown paint this is apple barrel i get it from walmart um, and if you're looking to just get a, a kind of a beginner set of paint so that you have most of the colors that you would need for five dollars or 4.97 they have um, a pack of I think it's 10 of kind of your basic colors that you're gonna need. Fun fact, it doesn't come with orange, so we're gonna have to make our own orange tonight, um, but that's okay. <laughs> but it's just a nice way to kind of get going. So, all right, so we're gonna take um, a little bit of the brown here, just a bit. This is called nutmeg brown. Um, so I'm gonna pour that a little bit out there, and then I'm gonna grab, this is, hopefully this works. I've only, I've seen it. I've never actually, I'm testing a lot of things with you guys tonight. I've never actually done a lot of this before, but that's okay. Um, what better to test things than live, right? Um, I figure if I can sing in front of people and make mistakes and be okay, then I can craft in front of people and make mistakes and be okay. Um, we just roll with the punches, right? So, all right, I'm trying to take the first wet wipe out, and that's difficult. I'm going to stick the rest in so that it, it stays, you know, wet. <laughs> all right, so who knew these had multiple uses, right? Of course, actually, I'm sure most people did. I just didn't. It's like the dryer sheets, right, Mom? Multiple uses, you just never knew. All right, so we're gonna, hopefully this works. We're gonna take a baby wipe and we are going to um, dip it into the brown paint. Not too, too much. I'm gonna take some of it off. And then we are just gonna, um, oh, it works, this is so cool. And then we are just gonna brush this onto our pumpkin. Um, and it makes it look, like you're staining it. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm so excited this is working. All right. Oh, and I'm getting it all over me. That's the best part of crafting, right? Um, I got a, um, a manicure um, from my aunt's salon, hashtag uh, sheer imagination. Go follow them. They're amazing. And um, 
and I, I, first day I got the manicure, I decided to do a craft project and they told me to wear gloves, you know, they, they're good. And, um, nope, I forgot or didn't, uh, who knows? <laughs> and I got paint all over my manicure <laughs> like that. Well, whoopsies. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more, um, get it a little bit darker. I actually wonder, um, oh, this works because I have two different browns. This one's nutmeg brown and the other one I think is more of like a chocolate brown. So that's a little bit darker of a brown, but I'm just gonna use, so the baby wipe just kind of allows it to go on a little bit looser um, than if you're using um, a paintbrush, essentially. It doesn't go on as opaque. It looks more like a stain. You can see the, the wood th grain through it and everything. I see some more people watching, so say hey when you're hopping on so we know who's here. Alrighty, we can say hello. Um, so I'm just gonna do this a little bit more. I want a little bit more color, a little bit more darkness to this, um, especially because we're gonna put another color on top um, so let's just get this stained a little bit more. Whoops, it's running off on me. And then we're going to use my new tool that my dad got me, um, to dry it up in a flash because it's the coolest thing in the world. And then don't forget your edges. They may have already kind of been done inadvertently, but, um, don't, just don't forget them. Get those going. I have this spot here I can't get rid of. And don't worry about the little hole. Okay, we're gonna cover it up later um, with some, this one we're gonna cover up with some raffia and the other one we're gonna cover up with some um, ribbon, some ribbon that I found at the dollar store. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, so what's everybody up to tonight? Um, after this, I'm probably gonna go watch wrestling. <laughs> My husband's watching it right now. Um, I'm telling you, I never used, I never watched wrestling. I thought it was silly um, because I thought everybody thought that it was real. And I was like, how does everybody think that this is real? Um, then when I learned it was entertainment, I was like, oh, this is kind of entertaining. It, not always, um, but sometimes, you know, I usually crochet or something while we're doing it. So um, it's not my only, not my only thing going on. Um, but all right, so here we go. So this is the finished stained pumpkin. And what we're going to do is, so we don't need this little, wet wipe anymore. I'm going to set this aside. Looks gross. I'm not going to lie. And we're going to use a heat gun. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, this is from Harbor Freight. My dad got it for me. Um, inexpensive. And we are just going to turn it on low. Um, it's used for like stripping paint and stuff, but it also helps paint dry. So I'm going to keep it on low. And so it's going to go on for a second. And literally you think it's not entertaining watching paint dry. It is entertaining watching paint dry with a heat gun. It is really, really cool. Hi, Shelby. Oh, you inspired me to somehow spend $40 at Dollar Tree the other day. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just happens, right? You just go and you see so many things you want. Oh, my God. Not nearly as productive as you will watch. <laughs> well, that or I'll just watch crafting videos while I'm watching something else. So um, I'm watching multiple things at a time. So I'm really not always productive, I promise. Um, all right, so here we go. We're just gonna give this a second to dry. So it just, it's just heat, um, but it, it takes like a hot second, literally, <laughs> um, to dry this up. Like it's probably already done, uh, -da -da. but it just helps. You don't have to wait for your coats to dry, you know? All right, now we are gonna mix ourselves some orange. Um, but Shelby, oh my gosh, that is so funny. Um, with my Dollar Tree haul the other day, I went, I don't know, I think for one thing and, you know, I don't know, 20 items, 30 items later, I'm like, oh God, I don't have room for this. Um, it just happens. So my new thing is when I go to the Dollar Tree, I don't pick up a basket and I say, I can't get anything I can't carry. And I found some very creative ways to carry things. Oh. Oh, hi, Mike. How are you? Thanks for watching. I'm sure you just like watching for a quick second, but thank you. Um, all right. So we're going to mix ourselves some, uh, some orange. So I've got some, uh, King's gold, which is a gorgeous gold color from, um, from Apple Barrel from Walmart. Um, I used it to dry brush on that Fleur de Lis, um, hanger I made the other day on top of some really beautiful Valspar blue. Um, so, oh, this gold is just divine um all right so we're gonna mix that with some this is De uh, deco art i think this is from joann's um my mom and i actually got this 
um, to paint some decorations for my wedding back in the fall. We ended up using spray paint, but we bought this together. Um, so we're gonna add a little bit of this in. Shelby said, think I would set the record for most items purchased in under three minutes. Also, no basket juggled all my things, right? You're like, how can I hold everything? You know, it's like, I can spat, pile, right? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit of this in here. I want kind of a darker, oh, I'm sweating still. I'm so sorry. All right, I want to use, I have all my brushes over here. I'm gonna use this brush, and this brush is actually from um, um, my aunt's mom who passed away, Mrs. T. This was in um, a box of knitting things that I found, and this was kind of mixed in with it, and it's old, but I was like, you know what, this is a good paintbrush, and I'm gonna keep it, because she was awesome. Um, so you can buy a basket. <laughs> that is clever, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I've done that. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna use um, a different paintbrush to mix these up. I'm not sure if you guys can see me mixing here. So I'm just gonna mix these guys um, to make some nice orange for us that we are going to, we're gonna need more yellow. We're gonna need more King's Gold. We went way too red. Okay, hold on, well, actually it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just not what we were going for. So let me put the red away because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna go from some yellow. Oh, oops, and we've got, I shed, my hair is everywhere. Oh, that was a lot of King's Gold. Oh, shugs. We're gonna, this is gonna be a process, guys. Oh, all right, let's mix this up. Oh, I really should just go out and get some orange paint. That would probably be my best bet. Um, but I mean, I don't know, this way it's kind of cool because you can mix the color that you want. A lot of the projects that I've been doing, um, I really, I've been mixing a lot of my colors um, because, you know, you, you have a color in mind and you don't have time to run to the store. So you just, you know, if you have, that's why I was saying if you, if you did want to kind of start um, doing crafting and just, you know, for fun, nothing big, um, it is nice that they sell that kind of 10 pack of the primary most used colors. Um, and again, it's, it's super inexpensive. So it's kind of nice just to start there because you really can mix anything you want. So this is a nice, I think this is a nice orange that we're going to start with. So I'm going to stick, um, I'm going to put the, the little paintbrush in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a kind of a dry brush effect for our pumpkin here. We're keeping this very simple tonight, guys. Um, I'm not going to like overly decorate these. I'm just, you know, the scrap paper kind of does it, you know, on its own. Um, so you know, it'll be fun. So I'm going to take a dry brush, not going to get it wet at all. I'm going to dip it in the paint, not too much. And then I don't know if you can see me doing this, um, but I am going to literally um, brush it off a little bit on the um, tray. And then I'm going to brush it off on the paper towel I have here so that there's barely any paint on my paintbrush. All right. Then I'm just going to kind of do some quick strokes over the pumpkin. Just to, and I'm, I'm going to do them kind of in a, in a, uh, turning way, kind of in the shape of the pumpkin. Um, that way it's, you know, it looks intentional, almost like the shape of the pumpkin. Um, and then, yeah, so you just kind of start doing, it's okay if you get a little bit more, um, not really sure what I'm going for here. I'm just kind of making this up as I go, you know, and I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the little top there. But yeah, I just thought I, I just thought it would be better than just painting an orange um, to have kind of that stained look underneath first, um, and then add some kind of orange notes on top. But yeah, so I'm just kind of dry brushing this all over. I have very very little paint on this brush, um, so we're just kind of doing this thing here. I don't know what do we think. So it's you know it's not opaque. It's just kind of. It's cute. I think, you know, it'll just be a little something to add onto our, um, onto this here, you know? Um, but let me, I'm just trying to see if I like those, that color. Um, yeah, I think that's nice. I do wish the brown had been a little darker, um, but I think that'll look cute. I think that those pit colors, excuse me, go together nicely. All right, so we're just going to quickly, I'm not really sure we need much else here. Um, yeah, we're going to quickly hit this with the heat gun just to dry it up. All that mixed orange paint, and that's all we used. <laughs> what a shame. That's okay, maybe I can find something else to use quick for it later on. Oh, don't forget to say hey if you're popping on new. Hi, everybody. This has been so much fun. I quite like doing a quick little craft on a Friday night. And it's funny, the first time I went live, I, um, 
I was nervous, um, which is funny. Again, I, I sing in front of a lot of people often, or I, I used to at least, before COVID happened. And um, it you know, didn't really phase me much. It was something I've been doing a long time. But the idea of doing something else in front of a lot of people, especially when the audience isn't in front of you, um, I think that's why I love making sure that I interact with the comments because then it's like interacting with the audience. And I was really nervous about it. And then I, um, half an hour later, you know, I'm done with the first crochet tutorial. And I don't know why I was surprised that I, uh, I could talk to myself for that long because um, if you ask anybody who knows me, I, all I do is talk. <laughs> so talking to myself really shouldn't be a problem. Um, and it wasn't, and it isn't. <laughs> um, so I'll dry. I got a little pumpkin. All set to go. Alrighty. I'm super excited about this one. I'm gonna set it aside for now. I'm gonna do my dry brush into my mason jar to let that get going. And then we're gonna do something totally different with our other pumpkin. All right, singing is easy. Mixing it up and putting yourself out there is much harder, but you're great. Oh, thank you so much, Geraldine. You're so sweet. And let me tell you, I mean, Geraldine, for anybody who doesn't know, Geraldine's my cousin and she is one amazing, amazing, amazing singer. Um, so thank you so much, Cheryl, and that means a lot coming from you. Um, so, okay, so I'm gonna do a gray pumpkin, but I'm gonna make this gray look like a stain, just like we did with our brown. Um, so something kind of different. And once it's done, I guess we can kind of just decide if we want to do um, anything else with the gray or if we just kind of like the way the gray looks. I was thinking I could, I don't know, like cut some vinyl, because now that I have a Cricut, I'm like all excited. Um, cut some vinyl or something to put on these and like, I don't know, happy fall or something. But I don't know, they're so little and cute and we can put some ribbon. Um, so let's get some gray out on here, uh, just a tad bit. This is called Pewter Gray, again from Apple Barrel. This was in the um, that starter kit from Walmart. We're gonna grab it up. Oh, actually, yeah, we're gonna grab a new wipe. We don't want any brown getting on it. So grab a second wipe. This was the one that wanted to come out anyway. So now it can. There we go. All right. These are from Stop and Shop. Woohoo! Go Stop and Shop. All right. Oh, all right. So here we go. Let's get, um, so yeah, we're going to do this with, uh, let me just dry my area a little bit. Just want to make sure that none of this brown or orange paint is wet. Because we don't want any mixing of colors where we don't want mixing of colors. Where we do is fine. Alrighty, and you know what? Whilst thinking of it, I am going to plug in my glue gun so that way that is ready to go when we want to start assembling this. All right, so I have this extension cord that I run out from the back of my desk. Whoop. My dad would not be happy. Sorry, dad. Plugging everything into it. Um, all right, so I'm going to get the glue gun going, um, and we're going to take the, the uh, wet wipe with our now dry paint area and dip it into the gray and use this to apply the gray as if it were a gray wood stain. Oh, love, 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 love this already. This is so cool. I just figured, you know, everybody does the orange, browns, reds, sunflower, yellows of fall. Um, and when I saw this fall paisley scrapbook paper, I was like, you know what? Gray can be a fall color too. Um, you know, if you use it in the right way, if you kind of support it with some of those traditional colors of fall, you know, the, again, the yellows, browns, burgundies, um, but we can make, we can make gray a fall color too. Um, you know, I was thinking the other thing I wanted to try with this, instead of using the baby wipe, you could also, um, you could also take a paintbrush dip it in water first get it wet wring it out a little bit on a paper towel and then do kind of like a really watered down paint um, of gray that would also kind of make it look like a stain as well um, what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna finish off my sides just like don't like don't forget your don't forget your sides your edges I should say your edges I mean this is these are so thin you'd barely be able to see them but I don't know I'm I'm in, I'm a I'm OCD <laughs> So I would notice that I didn't finish the sides. So I'm just gonna finish these little edges here with whatever I have left over on my wipe here. And of course I hold the wet part and then it wipes off. <laughs> Isn't that always how it works? Um, all right, so here we go. Around, around. But yeah, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I figured I'd do two different kinds of um, 
two different kinds of styles here. I was also thinking um, if you didn't want to, if you wanted to paint one of the squares um, and then do Mod Podge scrapbook paper on one of the pumpkins, that'd be fun too. So be kind of the opposite. Um, that would be, that would be a nice idea too. I just didn't know how well the, um, the square, those tin squares would paint. Um, you'd have to sand them down a lot just because they did have some raised design on them. So I figured if you just cover them with scrapbook paper, it's a lot easier. I'm going to use the unused side of the wipe right now and try to get some of this paint off so I can see a little bit more of the grain. I, I It's a little bit too much coverage for me. Um, so this actually does work. Um, just trying to remove some of the paint. Um, again, I think maybe I would have preferred using my method of um, using a, a wet paintbrush, although this doesn't work half bad. Um, this is actually doing what I really wanted it. So yeah, so you can just see a little bit more, um, a little bit more of the grain coming through there. I like that. So, um, all right, sweet. Let's dry this one up. And then we're gonna start assembling and putting um, some decorations on it. Um, oh, but talk about, you know, <laughs> it's not interesting to watch paint dry, we were saying earlier. Um, I, I forget what project I was doing but whatever it was, the paint on it was kind of thick. And I literally, I would put the heat gun on it and you could just see it go from wet to dry. It was crazy. Um, you could, it, and it must've been the way the light was kind of shining on it that I could notice such a difference. Um, but oh, it was super, super cool. And I've used this on all kinds of paint. So um, like I painted a bread box for our kitchen um, a few weeks ago and I used, um, bare like semi-gloss paint um that was like used on the cabinet or on the wall or whatever so it was legit paint it wasn't like acrylic paint it was wall paint um and the heat gun was fine with that i've used it on acrylic paint um you can use it on chalk paint so i use just a quick note on that too Ooh, it's hot <laughs> um i use acrylic paint uh, a lot of like professional crafters so not me um they'll use chalk paint uh chalk paint dries a little bit more matte um, has a little bit better coverage. Sorry, I'm sweating. Um, has a little bit better coverage. So when you're trying to paint over things, um, you may not have to sand as much to, you know, maybe get a background that used to be there if you're repurposing something. Um, so chalk paint tends to be a bit better, but I find that acrylic paint, as long as I use a couple of coats, I make sure that coats are completely dry in between. I made that mistake once and I just had this like thick layer of paint. Um, because everything wasn't as dry as it needed to be. Um, so yeah, acrylic paint. And if you use, um, you know, if you're using light colors and you wanted to like paint it a quick coat of white and it doesn't have to cover fully, um, you know, whatever you wanted to use, it kind of be like your primer um, and then paint your color over, it's fine. And again, as long as you let coats dry fully in between um, and you don't have to have a heat gun, you can use a blow dryer, that works too. Um, but I don't know, we were at Harbor Freight and I thought a heat gun would be really cool. Um, Dad and I were together, so that was fun. Um, he got me all sorts of stuff. He was like, can you use this? Can you use that? Um, and I loved it. I loved it, loved it. It was so much fun going with him. Um, so anyway, so I think acrylic paint works just fine. And it's definitely more, it's a, definitely a lot more inexpensive than chalk paint, but chalk paint isn't terrible. Um, and they sell Waverly chalk paint at Walmart. And I think it, it's what I see a lot of people use and it looks really great. But if you're looking for something cheap and fun and quick, um, these are 50 cents. <laughs> um, all right, so we're done with our pewter gray and we're done with our King's Gold, which is still out over here. Now, um, I'm gonna set this aside and this aside and we don't wanna set them aside. We're gonna set them aside over here. All right, awesome. We're gonna start to put these bad boys together. All right, I'm gonna flip this over so that we can have a totally clean paper towel. All right, let's do this one first. So this is pretty much dry now. All right, our distressed polka dots. And I had a little bit of, do I have? I have a little bit of overhang over here. So I am just gonna sand it, um, sand the overhang off. It's really cool how you can do this because then you literally get like a perfect edge. Actually, I could probably cut some of this off too because it's really, I really, uh, Really overhang on that, really over, overdid it on that one, or I did it on crooked, whatever the whatever the case may be. So I'm just gonna cut this off here, my excess. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna sand the rest um, so that it just meets at the edge. Um, and actually I'm wondering if I should use a tougher 
tougher grit of sandpaper, which I have because dad got me a bunch of that at Harbor Freight too. Um, he was awesome. He really stocked me up. All right, cool. That edge is fine. And if I don't like it later, I can fix it myself later. We don't need to do that in front of you guys. All right, so we're all set there. Um, we're gonna glue the pumpkin down first. Um, so it's gonna go right in the center and then we will decorate the pumpkin. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna go simple with this. Um, uh, very not, oh, Steve's favorite store. Yeah, my dad's favorite store too. But it's pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, and it's inexpensive, which is nice. So, all right, oh, we've got our glue gun. Quick update on glue sticks. So went to the dollar store the other day, Dollar Tree, and got the glue sticks there. Um, just to follow up, I don't recommend them. Um, sorry, um, I thought they'd be great. I mean, everything else at the Dollar Tree is, right? Um, but I use this, I mean, I've had this glue gun. I don't even know where I got it. I assume my parents bought it for me, so thank you, Mom and Dad. Um, like years and years and I mean, this thing has to be at least 15 years old. Um, so, but I love it and it's covered in hot glue and the little stand for it broke off and I don't care because it just works beautifully. Um, so I just went to Joanne's the other day because I needed some yarn for a crochet project and I had a coupon. Um, so I got a hundred pack, so I'm not running out anytime soon of just, you know, one of their generic brands and I had like a 50% off one, one item. Um, so I think it was maybe four or five dollars for a hundred of them. Um, and I think you got maybe 20 in the pack at the dollar store. So it really, it was fine. Um, and these are just, they're, they're just better. Um, so fun fact, update on the glue sticks from Dollar Tree. I don't recommend them. Um, also, just while we're on the subject of following up on my uh, Dollar Tree haul, um, the contact paper, the, the transparent one from the Dollar Tree, I tried it with my Cricut vinyl and I didn't find it to work very well. I'm going to keep trying it because I've been having some user error with my transfer tape, whether it's Cricut brand or not. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm not loving it, but I'm going to keep trying it. The magic cover, I think is what it's called. Um, I see a few more people watching, so feel free to say hey when you're hopping on so we know who's here, who's joined our craft, our Friday night crafting party. Um, so I'm just going to take some hot glue and get this going and get a little here. Probably don't need this much. Alrighty, and we're just going to place this in the center. Alrighty. Push that down. Oh, it's hot. The hot glue is coming through the, coming through the wood. It's hot. All right. Oh, it looks so cute. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look how cute that is so far. We're not done, but look how cute that is. Ah, oh, love, love, love. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> this is so much fun. All right, so we've got that one glued on. We'll come back and finish decorating that one in a second. Let's glue on the second pumpkin. So we've got our fall paisley. Do we have any serious need to cut off overhang on this one? No, this one came out well, guys. Woo woo. All right, let's get the gray. Yeah, I like this. I like this. It's not exactly what I was thinking, um, but I do like the way it came out. All right, so let's stick some hot glue on the back. I was hoping that if we did a Friday night as opposed, a Friday like later night, as opposed to um, like an afternoon that I've usually been doing. Hi Shannon, hi Shannon, thanks for hopping on and watching. Um, I figured if we did a later night, more people might be able to watch. So that's why I, um, oh, hi Joseph. <laughs> um, so we are gonna, I figured that hopefully more people could watch this way. So we're gonna glue this gray one on just like this. Oh, shooks. Come on, push over. There we go. Whew. Got nervous. All right. So that one is all set. All righty. And now um, we are going to add a little bit of ribbon and then we'll call it a project. It's funny, you know, I like this, but I'm wondering if I shouldn't have done the gray with the tin. I don't know. What do you guys think? Gray with the tin? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it right now. Not, I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure I'm in love yet, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna set my glue gun aside for a hot second here. Let's do the, um, so for the orange, which I'm just like loving this right now, the orange with the polka dots, I'm gonna do um, some raffia. So you can get it in um, small packages at the dollar store, but we were at a yard sale um, a few weeks ago and someone had um, like a lot of it. <laughs> um, and I think it was a dollar for all of this. And there was, an, I think there's more. Um, so I was like, oh, this is fine. It's a mess, um, but you know, that's okay. 
So I'm just going to take out some pieces of raffia. I'm literally going to take out like strands here to try to make the least amount of mess. And we're going to make a little bow out of the raffia. Um, and literally just a, a regular old bow. So I'm just going to kind of wind this up on itself. Um, alrighty, we got this one, this one, and um, yeah, we're just going to wind this all up and make uh, just a cute little regular bow and glue it on the top. Oh, thanks, Mom. Mom said she likes it. I assume it's Mom. Mom said she likes it. Thanks, Mom. All right. Um, do I want to just start here? Yeah. Um, let's see. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that'll be enough. So what I'm going to do, um, I have some floral wire, which I got from the Dollar Tree, but I think instead, um, I like the gray and tint together. The bow will bring it all together. I hope so too. Thank you, Shelby. Um, all right. I'm not just going to use some, um, raffia to tie the raffia together. We'll use floral wire for the, um, the ribbon that we're going to do with the gray one. And I'm hoping that the ribbon brings it all together with the gray one. Just find a good piece of raffia so it doesn't rip on me. All right. Let's see if I can successfully tie this together and then we'll just trim up our ends and glue it on. Thanks so much again, guys, for all for watching. This has been so much fun interacting with everybody and such. Um, I really enjoyed this. So thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it. All right, let's tie this in a double knot. All righty. And then all I'm going to do is, um, so we're done with this. Set this back aside. All right, so obviously this is a little bit too big. Um, so I am just going to, so this will cover our hole nicely. Um, I think that's too big. <laughs> Uh, so we're just going to, I'm going to trim up my, my sides a little bit here. Just kind of, just trimming it up. So that way it can be just not as cray. Let's see. Raffia going everywhere. Ay, ay, ay. This stuff is fun though. And it's just, it's so fall, you know. Um, I don't, I don't think there's a fall project I don't think of that I'm like, how can I incorporate raffia? Um, just, and like I said, you can get it at the Dollar Tree. I'm just picking up my pieces here. Sorry. You can get it at the Dollar Tree, which is awesome. I really shouldn't, you know, be sharing all my tips and tricks here. Um, yeah, a little smaller. Yes, definitely, mom. Definitely. All right. What do we think? Should we go smaller? Should we go smaller than this? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking maybe a little bit because it hides too much of the scrap paper because I really like the scrap paper. So I think I'm going to go just a bit, a bit smaller on it. Not too, too much, just a little bit. Alrighty, this. All right. So right now, this is the first craft project I've done in a little while because I have a ton of crochet orders in right now, which I have to tell you, so with the weather, it's a little warm. <laughs> um, but it is nice that I have some orders because, um, you know, with, I mean, it's, you know, this is just my side hustle. This is just for fun. This really isn't, you know, any source of anything. So makers who are professional, um, I really feel for them during this time. But it is nice to get some orders in and stuff just to um, feel a little bit more, um, a little sense of kind of just some, some normalcy coming back. You know, people um, ordering things and getting out a little bit more and whatnot. So I have some crochet orders that I'm doing. Um, oh, there we go. And, um, and that's been busy, which is great. So... Um, and I really, I love getting into this crafting, um, and I, I hope to do so some more. Um, but we're going to get all those crochet orders done. And yeah, just finished a shawl today. And I got a blanket to do. We're doing a teddy bear, doing some, um, some scrubbies for um, a baby. Um, what else are we doing? What else are we doing? Oh, hopefully some, um, some crocheted numbers, which are kind of cool. Um, all right, so let's keep going. All right, so we're just gonna um, hot glue. Yes, I like that size much better. So I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue right here, right kind of where the hole is on the uh, trunk of the, uh, the trunk, the, is that what it's called? The trunk of the pumpkin? The stem of the pumpkin, Jeez Louise. And we're just gonna stick that down. Oh, I got these, I'm afraid to touch the hot glue because it's so warm, but I got these things at Dollar Tree the other day. They're, well, they're thimbles, I assume, but you know, they sell them in the craft section like there's something new. Um, <laughs> like they're a new invention, right? They're a craft finger. It's a thimble. Um, but yeah, so they have those. So if you have, you know, cause sometimes you have to get in there with the hot glue. So those are helpful and they're pink. Um, oh, look at this. We've got love happening in the, um, in the comment section. So cute. 
Look at my mom commented on Facebook. I love it. This didn't cover the hole as much as I wanted. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Guys, what do we think? First one, done. Simple, little scrapbook paper, little, you know, fake stain, little dry brush orange, little raffia. First one, already, already got the hanger on it. Tin, boom. I don't know, we could keep the tag on the back that says $7.99 and see if someone believes it, right? So there's number one, done. All right. I'll show them again at the end, all righty? Now let's create a bow for, thanks mom, <laughs> um, for our gray. I have two ribbon colors that I'd like to use. So this one that's green, because I just thought it would be cool to bring out kind of a different color in here. Although I'm wondering now if I don't want to use the green, because I'd have to fold it and I'm wondering if that would still be, I think that'll still be too big. So you know what? Forget the green, sorry guys. Changing it up, forget the green. What I do want to use is this really pretty orange with some gold on it. That I thought would nicely bring um, together the the paisley here. You know, I, I bet you we could, should we try the green guys? Should we try the green? Okay, we'll try the green. We'll try the green, why not? So I'm just gonna cut some pieces out here. I haven't used this green yet and I think it's gorge. So let's give it a whirl. Get some of this, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. All right, we've got some floral wire here. Um, this one is, I think this one's from the dollar store. Um, they sell different colors and I couldn't get green um, or a darker color, silver. Um, so, you know, it's fine. We'll make it work, right? Um, and if I don't like that, we can always use a piece of raffia to tie or some jute, which jute is like this kind of string, which I get at the Dollar Tree too. Um, so, okay, let's see what we want to do here. Cause we could just do like a cute little pinch and make a little bow. Yeah, I, just, I learned the pinch guys. Um, and make a little, you know, I don't know. That's, that's large. That's kind of large. Well, I mean, we could trim it up, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Because I like this, um, this orange ribbon. So let's do um, a couple of pieces of this. Just cutting it quick. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get the ribbon out of the way. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So is everybody else going to go to bed after this like me? <laughs> I can't believe we've already been on this long. How much fun this has been. Oh, I, w I don't have any yellow, Mom. I wish I did. Um, we'll have to go to the store and get some, okay? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I'm going to crisscross these. And again, super simple. Um, and then let's do like a super accordion fold here if I can. Um, yeah, I can. Okay. Super, like total, like fold this up a lot. Let's see if I can fold it again. Yep, sorry, I'm just really trying to pinch this so I can get it a little bit skinnier. I don't really like how the the orange is really going to... Let's see. Let's see. If I trim that up, though, that's going to be... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this right now. And I'd hate to glue it down and not like it. Um, let's see. Yeah, why not? And let's floral wire this together. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this off and I'm gonna cut it with my scissors. I did get some wire cutters just in case, but um, good old fashioned, what are these friskies, friskers, friskers scissors? They work just fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just wrap this around. Uh, Blue Bloods is on a 10, so you have plenty of time. <laughs> okay, mom, thank you. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap this around nice and tight. Alrighty, and you bring it to the back and then you just twist it together. All right, twist, twist, twist. Yeah, I don't know if I'm loving this guys. We're gonna have to see, we're gonna have to see. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna trim off my end here. And what we would do is I'm probably gonna, well, we're obviously gonna have to trim this because that is just too big. <laughs> all right, um, all right, so. Oh, so, what's up guys, how we doing? Huh, thanks for hanging in here with me. All right, we're gonna trim this up. I'm gonna cut a lot of it off on either side. 
Oh, it's gonna be a cute little, little cute little fat bow, little chunky bow. I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. Look at how cute this little bow is. Hold on, let me just fix it. Let me fix it a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for this cuteness. Someone's gotta make this into a hair bow. Look how cute. Oh, I could. Huh. <laughs> Look how cute that is. All right, here we go. So we are all trimmed up and we're gonna glue him on, or her on, the little bow. The little extra ribbon pieces here that we're gonna throw away in a moment. Tito! Got that from my friend Amy. All right, I'm gonna hot glue this down. You know what, guys? I'm not loving this floral wire, so really quick, I'm gonna take a piece of raffia. Yeah, I'm not loving the floral wire. Uh, I'm gonna take a thin piece of raffia and get rid of that piece of raffia because we don't need it. And I'm just gonna wrap it real quick uh, just to give it a little bit more of a fall vibe. I'm not loving the way the I'm not loving the way the silver floral wire is, wire is looking. It's not, it's not, it's not vibe and fall for me right now. God, vibing. <laughs> How old am I? Not, I'm not young enough to say vibing. Um, all right, here we go. Let's cut the extra off so I, this is a right here, Bethany. All righty. I'm going to tie this off. So I was thinking, um, if we did this again, let me know some things you might want to see. Um, let me know if, it's, if there's a better time, if Friday nights are good. Um, anything at all. Comment comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I would love to hear from you guys because this has been quite fun. Um, so let me know, okay? Let me know, let me know. And um, if you ever want to order anything, let me know too. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. Always ready to create with people. I love it. All right, let's cut these off. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to fix the bow one more time. Kind of just bending it out. The green wire, no, the green ribbon has wire in it, I think. You get nine feet of ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's awesome. Um, and it's wire edge. So I love that. The small ones are not wire edge, but that's okay because they're kind of the accent pieces anyway. Um, so, okay, we're all set. We bent out all of our, sorry, I'm just really picky here apparently about how I want this bow to look. I don't know why I'm so picky. Sorry guys. We're going to just hot glue this right right here. And hold it down for a few. Oh my gosh, guys, this is adorable. The um the floral wire, the floral wire, floral wire didn't get quite as covered as I wanted it to, but that's okay. We can do that another time. We'll, we'll just, yeah. We'll ignore it this time. Uh, but these are just such cute little hangers that I'll, I don't know, I'll probably throw up in my house or if someone someone wants them for their house, please just let me know. Um, I love to share my creations. Is this attached? All right. What? Oh my gosh, this thing looks adorable. Oh, we've got some. What do we think? What do we think of our second, our second little creation tonight? Huh? A little gray? Bringing in some green and some orange to pull out from the back of that paisley. Almost doesn't even look like a pumpkin right now because you can't really see the stem. But, oh my gosh, I really like the way the gray came out. I'm glad we did something a little bit different, right? A little bit not quite, um, not quite always fall, you know, with the gray and everything. So, all right, guys, we did it. We did our first live crochet. Crochet. No, we, this, is, this is crochet. It's not crochet. We did our first live craft tutorial, sort of, or just craft along with me, right? So here we go. Here are our two finished products. Thanks for all the love, guys. You guys are awesome. Our two finished pumpkins. We did one with the fall paisley gray colors, one with the distressed polka dot scrap paper, scrapbook paper. So we uh, repurposed some Hobby Lobby clearance items. But all right, so we did it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. This was super fun. Um, yeah, spread the love. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, and we'll do this again sometime. Alrighty. Um, take care. Have a great night. Have a good weekend. Stay cool. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye.